My name is Satan. Satan. My name is Satan. My name is Satan. Master of the banished ones. Of the disgraced, expelled, and despised. I was cast out of heaven and thrown down to the lowest pit of the world. You gave me until the end of times. So hear this vow, O mankind. Till this world and I have time, Satan will not rest easy. Before I am gone, I will trick the sons of Adam with every sin there is. I will deceive them with ignorance. <laughs> Sweetest ignorance. Great idol of this gathering! You are second only to Nimrod himself, you! <laughs> Who are you? Who's there? Oh, oh what you want in this temple? Huh? Huh? No, no. There is no God but Allah. The land of Babylon was under the rule of Nimrod, son of Cush. It was the greatest region of its time. However, the name of this great city was lost in the pages of history, and the city itself was buried under tons of rubble in the 4th century BC. People of the land worshipped many different idols and considered Nimrod the god of all gods. Babylonians, I swear to the god of all gods, Nimrod, that I was dusting a statue of this god when the stick of my duster hit it and brought down an eternal curse on me. Eternal curse. Make way, maybe the craftsman of the gods, the creator of idols, Azar, will be able to unravel this curse upon me. When the stones of the desert are being crafted with the hands of this great guide and Babylon's great priest, dark clouds disappear and the skies of Babylon and Ur radiate with light and shine. <laughs> 
And it's all because it is Azar who is using his tools on the statue of the god of the gods, Nimrod. And that's why he's been blessed, and this land has been <laughs> blessed and honored. I did not make this idol. Oh, base, the idol maker made it. You are a very good poet man. And skilled idol makers will make you a god worthy of the words you speak without any expectations in return. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? You're staring at a Nimrod who did not appreciate me. Me! Obese! He admires Azar's idols more than mine. Considers them more precious. Sarah. Tell me what have they done to him? What? What's wrong, Sarah? Abraham did not bow. Who? Azar, the idol creator's nephew. Abraham did not bow down. They took him away, Father. They took him. Those who don't bow down will be punished. Lord, tell me, did you see Abraham? He did not bow down, Azar. My son Abraham, was this compound, this dungeon, this black hole more comfortable than your uncle's house? Why do I have to bow down? For a being that is the same as me, made from flesh and bones. Hush! Stop it, Abraham! Nimrod's followers are furious with the bitter words you speak. A warning. From now on, even my mediation will not be useful at all.
Sir, why did you force my child into carving idols? It was just yesterday you had told me the secret that you had a young son. I made him carve stones just like, just like my own children. How creative. You've carved the stone so beautifully. I wish your father, Terra, were alive and could see how delicate your work is. You're better than my children. Carve, carve. Carve because you're going to succeed me. What have you done? What are you going to use it for? Worship! The stone. You worship the same thing that you make. You're my future successor! Not the height of my disgrace, son. From now on, you won't carve, you'll sell. You'll sell you! You'll present the gods to the people in Babylon's market. That you will do, my boy. I have idols, colorful and polished. Cheap and expensive, they're not harmful or beneficial. Come along, I'm poor, spend a coin, I have idols. I have idols, cheap and expensive. Come along and buy one from me. They're neither harmful nor beneficial, cheap and expensive. Come this way, I come along. clay jars. Come along. This way, this way. Come and buy one from me. They are neither harmful nor beneficial to you. This way, this way. I'm like a father to you, Abraham. I raised you with love, pure love, pure, pure. I told myself you'll grow tall and become a leader and a groundbreaker in the profession of idol manufacturing. Not it's a curse and plague. You'll carve on the soul of this piece of stone. Carve, carve delicately and wisely and carve with joy with your strong hands. Carve these solid stones. I want you to turn them soft and gentle and hollow. Carve them with your hands. Who created these hands? I bought you from Azar at a high price. So I am your power. I am your god. You have to bow down. Bow. If you rule over Babylonians like a god, you can't rule over me. Huh. Bow down. Bow down now! And what's this? The seat of Nimrod the Great. <laughs> this isn't a seat, it's ignorance. Nimrod doesn't thrive on a throne. He thrives on the ignorance of the Babylonians. 
You're intelligent only as long as you know how ignorant Babylonians are. Till the time that these people are drowning in their ignorance, it is entirely possible to reign over them like more than a god. So preserve the ignorance of your subjects. You were finally freed? Hmm. I was imprisoned because of Nimrod's oppression and freed with Azar's intervention. Oh. Aren't you scared that I might be Nimrod's spy? <laughs> Nimrod's spies aren't kind, Sarah. But, but what makes you think that I'm a kind person? Nimrod's followers don't help the needy. You've done wonders, Azar! These hands work miracles! If Nimrod sees you, he'll forget about being a god! Polish it! Go ahead! <laughs> Go ahead, polish it, okay. Lot, what happened? It's been a couple of days that he's gone to the mountains to worship. Worship! 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 Abraham is my nephew, but he is not of me! I'll go to the farm. Maybe he's come back. You and Nimrod's eyes are buck. You would promise to chase Azar from Nimrod's court, not make him his favorite. You'd promise that the great idol made by Azar would never reach the temple. You'd promised to make Nimrod admire my idols. It's hard, Obase. The day you were banished from Nimrod's court, Babylon's rulers gave Azar the title of the creator of the gods. Of course, it's something he doesn't deserve. No, Harpak. Imagine the difficult days you'll have if I tell Nimrod what I've seen. Everything I have seen! Don't you threaten me, Obase. If I have to, I'll bury you alive so that you won't ever be seen again. I thought of that, too. I've told a reliable person all about your secret. I've told him that if one day Harpak causes my death, he should take the trouble of informing Nimrod about the secret. I will never forget the day we'd gone to the, to the jungle for some rest. I looked through the trees and saw a tall... Fine. Azar's idol won't make its way to Babylon's temple. Now go, Abase. Don't stay here. Very good, Harpak. Very good. Harpak? A base the idol creator will reveal our secret to Nimrod. If I do not get rid of his arch rival. If he does, we'll kill him. 
and Nimrod. Oh God! I've thought about the state of these people. I've realized that all worship nothingness. Believe in nothing. Listen. Shiny masses that rule over us like gods. Oh, stars of the great skies, you own our future. You own our bodies and our wealth, and you own our lands and our world. Receive us, we are your servants now. What are you worshipping? Your presence here upsets us. Get away from here. What objects are you worshipping? Despite the fact that there are no stars brighter than Venus up in the sky. I worship what's more glorious and radiant. What happened to my god, Venus? Why did it fall? Why did it lose its light when the moon appeared? No, I won't worship Venus anymore. Now, the moon's my god, bigger and brighter. What do you want from the servants of the objects? Get away from here, go away, go away. <laughs> I am but a servant too. It's set. <laughs> the moon is set. The burning sun becomes the master of its servants. Get away. Get away. Leave the servants of the idols alone. The sun also set, just like the moon and Venus. What kind of god would set? I will worship a god that does not annihilate. My gods aren't objects. God means remaining, not disappearing. He's insulting what on earth is he saying? I can't believe saying. it, he's insulting our gods. What a travesty. I will go after a new god now. They worship the stars. Masses in disguise because of Satan's temptation. <gasps> Listen. I will sacrifice him for the gods so that they do not unleash their wrath upon us. My son broke my god. He was running fast and with great energy when his leg hit the idol and broke it in two pieces. What kind of god is it that it can't defend itself? A child just destroyed it. I don't know if my new god is the broken statue, or is it my son who broke my god? In the end, all your creations will recognize you as the creator. I'm sure you're the creator of life. You're present and observant. Everywhere. Present and observant. Present and observant. Why do you not reveal their ignorance? I know you exist. You exist. You have power. So say something. A sign that you can hear my words. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice?
You see, he didn't answer you, did he? Help me, Abraham. Help me so that I don't help him. It's me, Gabriel. Messenger of God. God has called on you to be his prophet for all mankind. You will teach monotheism to those who reject the divinity of the master of the universe and those who practice polytheism. This is the voice that delivers the greetings of Adam to you, O Abraham, the prophet of God. Higher, higher. That's it. Yes. God help you. I will destroy Nimrod's palace on your head, Tarpunk. Hey. God. The Almighty has chosen me as his messenger for you, O oh, Babylonians. Oh. What is going on in your head? A head full of dreams? Always rebelling? Do you want me to beg? I'll beg. Do you want me to cry? I'll cry. And my peace isn't a toy in your hands, oh prophet! Three days from now... Just three days from now, it's the ceremony of honoring the gods. It's a joyous day. It's a happy one. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Don't ruin it! Don't ruin it! Azar. Do these solid objects that you call idols and gods hear you when you call them? Or do they bring you any benefit? Or cause you any harm? Tell me. We witnessed our fathers worshipping these gods. Even though they're solid and ineffective, we still worship them. We still do. I will worship the god that created and guides me with his kindness. The same God that feeds me with his generosity when I'm hungry. The one that quenches my thirst when I'm thirsty. The one that cures me when I'm sick. The same God that takes my life and then brings me back to life again. The same God that I hope will forgive my sins on the day of judgment. Because he's the compassionate one. I want to be left alone. If you can, leave Babylon. Go. Harpak has betrayed the god of Babylon. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. This man is full of lies and deceit and treachery. Throw him out of the court. He's planning a conspiracy. Get out of here, you curse. I will leave, O oh Grand Vizier. But I'll leave after I reveal Harpak's treachery. 
to the god of Babylon, the secret of that green forest. I swear by the gods of Babylon that I will kill you. Take him away! Oh, great Nimrod, kill me, but let me reveal the secret already. Kill me! Let him go! Oh. Oh. Uh. He's crazy. His heart is filled with the poison of revenge, and his secret is nothing but to taint the honor of the king. He's upset about Nimrod favoring Azar. On that evil day, I went to the forest for a walk. That's when I saw the great horse. Like the evergreen cypress behind the horse, I saw the First Lady of Babylon alone with this despicable man among the trees. And your wife betrayed you to avenge the murder of her father, Nimrod. She wanted to overthrow you from the throne with the help of Harpak. She betrayed you, Nimrod. Don't have mercy on them. Don't have mercy on them, Nimrod. Very well, Obeys. I heard you. Go. Go! This game. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not playing this game. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm out. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> You'll finish it. You will finish this game, Harpak. Obeys revealed our secret. If you do not do what you've promised me to do. <laughs> I will use my female powers to convince Nimrod to kill you. My sword! You wanted to take revenge for your father and clan. Here! Take this sword! Kill me. Take it! Kill me! Nimrod, forgive me. I can still be of use. Babylon obeys you because I've subjugated its people with my wisdom and intelligence. My death will shake the cornerstone of your rule. Don't kill me. I beg you. I beg you. I'll forgive you only because Babylon still needs you. Go and change your clothes, you devil. You're still a vizier. Forgive me. Get up. <laughs> Get up. Oh, God of gods. If I were you, I would not have mercy on Obeys. We're going to the ceremony. Aren't you coming with us? Sarah is with us too. No, I'm sick. Mm-hmm. Lot, you should go. Uh, but... 
It is God's will. It's in your interest. You should go. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد كانت لكم أسوة حسنة في إبراهيم والذين معه إذ قالوا لقومهم إن براء منكم ومما تعبدون من دون الله Second only to the gods of gods, Nimrod himself, you, you. <laughs> Why do you believe that I was the one who destroyed the gods? There was only one person who didn't leave the city for the rituals. It was you. This is Abraham, the nephew of Azar, the idol sculptor. Babylonians have seen it too. This axe is your axe, Abraham. Give me the axe. May the hands of the one who defames himself be cut off, even if he's a member of Azar's family. I heard from Azar that Babylonians had discovered the Nax hanging on the shoulder of their greatest idol. Do you not think the great idol was responsible for smashing the rest? Hmm? <laughs> Ask it what happened to the rest. Come on now. Everyone knows that the gods aren't able to speak. They know they can't move either. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know that you worship gods that aren't able to speak. And you cling on to these gods that bring no benefit or harm to this land and its people, you know that? This is all while you've rejected the existence of the one and only god which controls any benefit or harm. Shame on you and the things you worship. So it's true then, your claim of prophecy, Abraham. Yes. Oh, that's enough! Arpak, designate the following punishment for this prophet's wrongdoing. Prepare a great wall of fire with flames reaching to the skies and burn him in the flames. Yes, O oh great Nimrod. 
Everyone from Babylon will take part in the burning ceremony. Everyone! Obeys, oh, it's me, the one you defeated. Azar, you won this battle. I'll sell my workshop. You don't have a rival. <laughs> Anymore, they'll burn the main asset of my life. <laughs> no intervention will be of use. <laughs> I've fallen out of favor with Nimrod. It's now your turn to take the lead. Take the lead. Take it. <laughs> take the lead. Abraham, where is this god of yours to save you from this perilous situation? Where? I am Abraham, the messenger of the one and only god. Anything that you worship which is not the one and only god is an object, a mass with no power which you have carved with your own hands. You should know that the gods that you worship will not provide you with your needs. Let go of them! Let go of these fake gods! Ask your creator to provide you with your necessities and worship the creator. Not the mere creation. Great Nimrod, the flames of the fire are so high, how are we supposed to throw this idol smasher in the fire? The catapult. The catapult. No! No, wait! I can tolerate being thrown in the flames. You said women are divine, O oh prophet. You honored mothers. Idols that aren't able to defend themselves from an axe aren't gods. I, Sarah, I worship the same god that you do. Burn me with him, because I have an axe, too. This time, I'll break Nimrod's idols. This time, I'll be the one who'll destroy Nimrod's Sarah. temple. Come. No! No!
Abraham, I've come to help you. I am the angel of the wind, Abraham. I have come to I'm help you. I am the angel of the wind, Abraham. I've come to help you. I am the angel of the wind, Abraham. Oh, heavenly messengers. I have come to All I need is God. He's the best guide. is the Lord of the world. He did not beget, nor was he begotten. He gives life and can take it away. He is merciful and compassionate and generous. He is the one that gives life and takes it away. He controls life and death. By the God of the gods, prepare the two prisoners for execution. We're going to the prison. The desecrator of idols will come too. Unlock the chains. him. Release him. Unlock the chains.
You, you're the prophet of a god that can't be seen. I just need a protector and a god. I swear I've accepted your prophecy. Abraham, ask that I be forgiven. I've lived a lifetime in darkness. And a moment, a moment in light. See, I took the one's life, and to the other, I gave a new life. Hmm? You tyrant! My god is the highest of all. The moon and the sun are under his command, you know. Every day, God makes the sun rise from the east. If you can, make the sunrise from the west tomorrow. Finish it. Leave Babylon. Babylon doesn't want you here. Get out! Hmm? You're the god of the earth. Wage war with the god of the sky. Don't let him walk free in Babylon. We will go to the Tower of Babylon and wage war on Abraham's god. You're a clever man, Harpak. You were right. I thought a lot about what you said. You said you're one of the cornerstones of Nimrod's rule. Today, I came to the top of this tower to show Babylonians absolute power. I am going to throw my arrow up to the sky in order to defeat Abraham's god. And that's how I'm going to fortify my rule. The previous vizier wanted to overthrow me, and you were a young commander who discovered his betrayal. You became his successor. You deserved it. You were intelligent, but you didn't realize that you were also wrong. If I have mercy on you, I won't be Nimrod any longer. My master. What are you saying? Nimrod is the absolute power. He doesn't want a vizier. It's tall. Very tall. I mean the tower. How should Harpak say goodbye to his god? Master, forgive me! My god! No! Forgive me! Oh, great Nimrod! Forgive me! My master! No! No!
Someone get over here. those who repent, my dear friend. Uh, uh, tell your God that I'm Abraham's uncle. I raised him. Uh, tell him to forgive me. Tell Join him. Join us. Tell him I raised you. <laughs> And ask your God to go. go. Ah. 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 Go, go. Go, go, son, go, go. Abraham, and ask your God to forgive me. in the war with a petty little mosquito. My father and I are believers of your message. He was too shy to come and talk to you, and so he sent me. He sent over a kind one.
I am ashamed to say this, but I will. Um, uh, um, uh, um, am I is a suitable husband for Sarah? I need a companion f for, for my mission. I, uh, am I? You are. <laughs> land of polytheism and migrate toward my god. Indeed, he is the almighty and wise. Abraham passed through Canaan and Egypt, and time passed him by. The pharaoh of Egypt gave Sarah a handmaiden called Hagar. Hagar was Sarah's handmaiden until Abraham entered Hebron and set up a home and a farm to live off of. Sarah. Abraham. Tell me, what's this place missing? Nothing. <sighs> Listen, can't you hear it? Hear what? The cries of a child. Ah. The cries of a child. I, I... I love you without the cries of a child, Sarah. The progeny of a prophet must continue for his followers. I... I can't have children. I just can't. The progeny of Abraham will not be from me. I'm offering you my maid, Hagar. The progeny of Abraham is the best of God's creations. Oh, prophet of God. Prophets of God should rightfully have lineage. You and I, we will always have love. I love you, Abraham. Don't ask me for this. I will, Abraham. Now I understand. 
understand why Gabriel gave me God's glad tidings. That a great nation will be created from my progeny. This is God's promise. Then I'll talk to Hagar. Lot. Last night I had a dream that a group of men were committing indecencies with each other. It was a dark land, and there were dark people. I know. God has chosen you to go to the kingdom of Sodom, to an obscene and lewd society, and stop them from indecency and evil. This is God's revelation. And Lot was chosen to preach the message, just like his uncle Abraham had been. I spoke to Hagar. What happened? The day that Nimrod's fire transformed into a garden under the command of God, 
I asked for a son. Pure and untainted to succeed me. A son whose progeny would be God's greatest servants. <laughs> Ismail, the great forefather of the last of the prophets, Ahmad. Ibrahim is the son of Tarug. Tarug was the son of Nohu, who was the son of Saruj, who was the son of Ra'u. Bravo. Um, the son of Ra'u, uh, Ra'u, uh, Ra'u, son of Forlage, uh, uh, Forlage, son of Abe, and Albe, Albe, son of, uh, son of Shale, uh, Shale was the son of Arfakshan, and Arfakshan was the son of Sam, and Sam was of Noah, the prophet Bravo. of God. Bravo. <laughs> oh, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my jar? I'm filling it up to clean the house. <sighs> There's no need for your help at all. You're cleaning up. I don't want a maid. You're not my maid. You're the wife of the prophet. The wife of the prophet! Have you despaired from my lover, prophet? Have you stopped loving me? Despair is one of Satan's traps. A prelude for surrender. Love is the only reason I exist. The reason for my message. Sarah, the fire of jealousy is a hundred times more destructive than Nimrod's fire. Turn it into a garden. Throw them out. Hagar is my wife, and Ismail is my son. No, 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 Sarah. I won't do that. Oh, God. Satan, the outcast is challenging your prophet. I seek refuge in you. Take your son, Ismail, and your wife, Hagar, away from Jerusalem and go to Hejaz, the land of worship. Your God will protect them from evil and harm.
It's time to say goodbye. It's the will of God that you stay here. And I go all the way to Hebron. Abraham, what sin have we committed to be punished like this? This is the hill of Safa. And that mount there is Marwa. Gabriel told me that in a revelation. We'll die here in this barren desert. Have mercy on us, O Prophet, on your child. This place is dry and burning. Oh God, make this land a secure place. I've settled my family in a barren land by your sacred house to sustain prayers. Oh God, make the hearts of people incline toward them and provide them with food so that they can be thankful for your dear, dear blessings, oh God. Thank you, God, for your blessings. Myself. He's become a man now. Go to the land of Hijaz again. Prepare your son, Ismail, to be sacrificed. Oh, you want me to do what the Canaanites used to do when they throw their firstborns into the flames as sacrifices for their idols? To sacrifice my flesh and blood, why? <sighs> I have to go, Sarah. I've been called upon. The camel's ready by the gates. I'll wait for you.
where is this place? The tribe of Jerome. Are you a traveler or a desert wanderer? A traveler. <laughs> Mother, we have a guest. Oh. Abraham. Hagar. Ismael, your son? Ismail has become a man. The Durham tribe is proud of having him. Oh. How are the people of Durham treating you? I've never known a tribe kinder than these people. They've really honored us. They too are monotheists. I never knew what happened to you and your child, you know. When I left you there in the barren desert, I had faith in God's generosity. Because your migration was his divine command. It was his divine command. Many years have passed since those difficult days. In a burning desert, the never-ending thirst. The burning hot sun of Hijaz. The hill that's called Safa, and the other they called Marva with my child. On the verge of death. Thank <laughs> you. 
The water you're drinking, O oh prophet of God, is from the well of Zamzam. Mm. Tomorrow is the day when I offer my sacrifice to God. I will choose the best ram from my herd for the sacrifice. <laughs> The offering for the sacrifice has already been chosen. On the Mount of Mina. Say goodbye to your mother, my child. We are going on a journey. its dreams. They are true dreams. Um, the Angel of Revelations came to me both in my dreams and while I was awake and revealed God's command to me. To sacrifice for God. Oh. <laughs> you. Tell me, what do you see in this true revelation? You will find me of the patient ones. On God's command. Father, do whatever you have been commanded. real tight so that I die easily, the sharp blade of fast death. Say hello to my mother and tell her that you fulfilled this divine mission with my total willingness. Be proud, O prophet of God, because the one and only creator is satisfied with you. of my eyes. any successor.
You're leading your own flesh and blood to be killed. You want to sacrifice the blessing of this land? God help you, Abraham. The tribe of Jerum will avenge this boy's death. You deserve the stain that will be left behind for killing your own child, O oh, mighty prophet. away. that I should have been with you, but I was not. I didn't see this divine creation grow up. And today, I am compelled to put you in this situation. But it's a divine revelation, my son, I promise. I never doubted God. Sacrifice when I face the grandfather, so that you can't see my face and aren't influenced to disobey this important mission. Persevere, father. <laughs> <laughs> is yours, O oh God, in the name of the one and the only God.
And Abraham returned to Hebron, and years passed. Isaac was born, and God revealed Abraham's last holy mission, building the Kaaba, the house of God. You will be my successor, the prophet of this nation. Ah, you carry the scent of Ahmad, the gem of prophets, you know. Pass my greetings to him generation after generation. Father, we have the power to build such a house. <sighs> that depends on whether you're in love with God or in love with this world. I'm in love, Father. I love God. Then we can. This is a power that God has instilled in our souls. Our body carries out the command of our souls. The souls of two people in love command. Here I am, O oh God. In answer to your call, ah, oh, here I am. Kaaba, the land of monotheism, was built by the hands of Abraham, friend of Allah and Ismail, the sacrifice of Allah. God's greetings to Abraham, who spent his life spreading monotheism and built the house of unity. And God's greetings to Lot. God's greetings to Ismail and Isaac. And God's greetings to Sarah and Hagar. And greetings to those who fulfill the Abrahamic rites in Hajj.